the world, can you hear the sounds? We're still okay though. We're in a bunker. What's up guys? Welcome to K-Jitsu. So new topic, we're on the mount. Okay, so let's talk about like in a street fight where I can actually hit him. Because it will be so different if it's just grappling. So if I'm here with Master Pat on the bottom on the mount, it's kind of hard to not want to hit him, right? Yeah. Because it will help set up a lot of our submissions. Because today we're going to talk about the straight arm lock or the Juji Katami from the mount. So from here, when I want to punch this guy to set up his arms, I don't want to sit on him like this. Because if I sit on Master Pat and he raises his hips or moves his yeah. hips, I'm now looking for my base. You see that? He's controlling me when my hip sits on him. However, when I be before I start to punch, if I lift my hips up and I put the weight on my knees to the ground with my feet hidden behind these, um, uh, below the hip line, right on the glutes, now when Master Pat lifts the hips, I can hook under, see? Yeah, it's tough. His hips want to go down, it's very painful. And if he tries to off-balance me, go ahead. You can't, now I can freely hit. You see that, how I hold and I pound the body, the head. You can go in the middle. You can really throw down. Now, whenever the hands go up, that gives you the opportunity to isolate. So how do I isolate? First, I drop my body beside the tricep. Here. Now I move. His arm is trapped. Hands on the mat. I slide my knee behind the head. And I can hook my heel on his hip first for now. Now from here, Master Pat is going to, you know, really try to escape. Go ahead, try to escape. Yes. Try to escape. So what's happening now? The control for me is that I can't let Master Pat go in a straight line with my head. So right now we're perpendicular. If Master Pat can whip his body into a straight line, you lose it. Okay, so once you get, let's do it again from here. Okay, quick review. Before I punch him, I disconnect my hips from his hips. I make sure the weight is on my knees connected to the mat. My feet behind are hooking underneath Pat's glutes. Okay, so when he tries to lift his hips, he doesn't control me. I can also tense my core and uh, I do a, a little bit of a, uh, a the pelvic tilt. Yeah, so yeah, it's bad for Pat. And I start hitting him, and then when I'm ready, when I see the hands go up, look, I can push, but he can resist, resist. There, so it's my body that goes to the side. Then now I look and I move my head. My head leads the way to trap the arm, putting my hands in the mat. When my hands are on the mat and the weight, that, the weight is on my hands, or are on my hands, now I can slide my knee behind his head. Okay, on the, the arm that I'm isolating or trapping. And then look, this heel will stay tight first. I'm not gonna move my knee yet. Look at this hand. I have to control Master Pat's head. So if I control his neckline, he can't sw uh, swing to a, uh, uh, you know, a parallel position with me. Go ahead. Okay, for real, bro. Yeah, it's tight. So I'm holding him in place. You see it? And if I need extra help, I can always pop my foot out. Right, go ahead, escape Master Pat. It's tough. It's tough. Now from here, look, if I want the Juji Katami or the straight arm lock, I have two options. From here, watch. I'll show you what we call the head side hug. My arm on the head side of Master Pat will go inside his elbow. We're hooking elbow to elbow. Then I hold my thigh. Now I release, before I release his head, I make sure to trap his armpit. Did you see that swing? How I move my head to my knee to go opposite direction, lightening my leg. Now from here, watch this. My toes will flex and activate my calf muscles on Pat's arm. Try to escape now. It's real tight. Now this hand goes behind his hip and I lean my head to the other side of the hip. Now, I'm, now it's like a seesaw. All the weight is on my head, so this leg is very light and I can pass it over. I feel very nice to the Katani setup to attack his arm. Come here, one more time. For the other arm lock setup. So we have the mount. If I sit the master, yeah, and he can also push me back like a hip thrust. Yes, and that's the reason all of that works, because I'm sitting on him. I'm connecting my hips. If I take my hips off master pat and I tense my core and I do a pelvic tilt, go ahead, push my hips back. It's real heavy now. You see that? And from here I can lay down the strikes. Boom, once the arms are up, look. It's more of your hands are gonna hold, resist that. Hold and then your body takes over, resist. I can't push with my chest. No, you can resist though. It's my head. Resist back. When my head moves, your arm is killed. Because my entire body weight can turn. Hands go on the mat. Knee slides behind the head. Once more, control the neckline. So you put the collar tight. You 
hold the back of his neck and you put your elbow on his collarbone. Sorry, bad. Good. Now he's sandwiched between my knee and hand. Escape. Everything is tight. Escape, escape, escape. Difficult now. So now from here, watch. Before I release the collar tie, I make sure that I trap his near arm. This is the south side, the head side hug. You can also go with the torso hug. So for the torso hug, watch. You will switch the control and now hug. It's the end of the world. Can you hear the sounds? We're still okay though. We're in a bunker. Okay, so watch. Good. Now look, from here my leg can swing. My head leans once more, lightening this leg. And from here, I can swing my leg over, right into the chuchikotan. Another good set of butt with torso control as the hunting mechanism. To finish this, stay tuned on the next episode. I hope we still see you guys, because that sounds like the apocalypse is coming, guys. If you can hear it, it's intense. Cool? Boom. Thank you.